When the researcher introduced the different cave types to the fish, he was imposing a treatment, so this is an experiment. If the fish were able to see each other, it might influence their egg-laying behaviors, and that would be a violation of the independence condition. Now, the number of eggs the female lays varies from batch to batch, regardless of what type of cave she's provided with. But by increasing the sample size, the number of trials, the researcher can distinguish between the differences in the cave types and the natural differences in the number of eggs laid. In a sense, replication balances the low egg number batches with the high egg number batches and really focuses on what variation is being caused by the cave type. If we were to conduct nine risky cave trials over and over again, and each time calculate the sample mean number of eggs, which is X bar, we expect our X bar to be off from mu, the true mean number of eggs, by an average of 24.9 eggs. Our standard error equals 24.9, and that equals S sub X, our sample standard deviation, over the square root of the sample size. We know the sample size was 9, which has a square root of 3, so all we have to do is multiply this 24.9 by 3, and that will give us our S sub X, our sample standard deviation. It turns out it's 74.7. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.